There's no denying that the sporting industry has evolved so much that athletes, both new and old, often find themselves struggling to get a grasp of how things work in the new market. Now, new players are looking for ways to survive today's competitive market while accomplishing their dreams of becoming a leading sponsored athlete. Hey guys, welcome to Creative, where we help athletes, sports marketers, and athletic business owners learn how to build those lasting legacies beyond the game. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Today, we'll be discussing how to become a sponsored athlete. We'd love for you to tackle that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Becoming a sponsored athlete is every player's dream, regardless of what sport they may be in. But because of how much the industry has changed, new crucial elements have made getting sponsorship deals much harder than ever before. And over the recent years that Creative has spent working with various athletes and organizations, we've discovered the secret that led champions to where they are today. So if there was any sort of secret into becoming a sponsored athlete, the key to figuring out how you can get more sponsorship opportunities is to understand what drives these companies to work with athletes in the first place. Now, depending on who you ask, there are various reasons why some brands invest in major sponsorship deals. Some companies want to further improve notoriety amongst certain audiences. Some want to target new fan bases, while some want to strengthen their overall brand image. Similar to other digital marketing strategies, sponsorship deals can be customized according to the needs of the brand developing them. And the goals of the sponsorship campaign will dictate the kind of athlete that the brand will look for. So if they want to enter a new segment in the market, they look for athletes already popular in that specific segment. If they want to strengthen their brand's image, they look for athletes that share the same values as their company. But regardless of how different these goals may be, they share one thing in common. They're looking for athletes with a loyal following and a solid brand identity that is consistent with who their brand is. Clear identity is key here, everyone. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Branding matters to athletes who want to build a solid career out of their time on the field. See, fans love to support athletes with a unique and consistent identity that they can relate to. And in order for players to find that unique thing about themselves that invites prospect fans to support them, they need to go through the process of brand building themselves as an athlete. Brand building helps athletes and even companies to narrow down what makes them unique from their competition. And once they find that unique quality in them, they harness the power of visuals and communication to build it into a recognizable identity that people can subconsciously relate to. A lot of people may claim that a large and loyal following is the secret to becoming a sponsored athlete. But the thing is, brands want to work with people who share the same values as them. They want to be surrounded by professionals that can help them build the kind of brand image that they want to have. So if they want to be known as a brand that creates athletic wear for professionals, they work with leading players in different sports that love to showcase that athleticism. But if they want to be known as a brand that creates products for families, then they work with athletes known to be more family oriented. The process of brand building also helps them develop guidelines that will ensure their imagery and their consistency and sponsorship proposals stay consistent regardless of what platform they may be on. In today's age of multi-channel fan experiences, sports fans value consistency more than anything else. 
They want to support athletes that are true to themselves and are not two-faced. The more consistent a brand is, the more trustworthiness they become to the eye of their fan base. And when sports fans start to trust the opinion of their favorite athletes, the more inclined they are to purchase their favorite products. Ultimately, companies value a strong brand because they understand that a loyal fan base follows suits. Their goals will slowly fall into place the moment that they sign a deal with an athlete who has a strong brand. Growing your brand takes time. And another key secret that sponsored athletes don't talk about a lot is that they don't take shortcuts. Nowadays, people think that as long as they have a website uh, alongside a couple of social media accounts and a logo, they can call it a day and say that they have a brand. When the truth of the matter is, successful brands are built on several hours spent months and months and months going through brand discovery and enhancements and improvements. Brand discovery is a lengthy process, but necessary exercise that a lot of companies and personalities skip when they build their brand. But like we said earlier, the brand building process is meant to help you narrow down what makes you really unique and likable in the first place. This means that you're expected to spend an extensive amount of time figuring out the identity of your brand from its very foundations down to the small details like brand messaging. Whenever people skip this specific step of the process, they often end up with a flimsy brain that couldn't stand the test of changing trends. But when they do go through some exercises of brand discovery, they end up developing a solid foundation for a brand that allows them to come up with better strategies that can withstand the competitive market of today's sporting industry. Again, sports fans love people have a clear idea of who they are. They follow celebrities and athletes who they think are showing their authentic self 24 seven. It's difficult to build a single brand identity when you don't have a clear set of goals to attain and a firm set of values to believe in. Thankfully, all of these crucial elements to a brand are settled during the initial stages of the brand building process. Some people even go as far as using brand questionnaires to help them figure out the foundations of their brand. These questionnaires examine crucial elements that dictate the kind of brand you'll build. It often asks you what kind of values and qualities about yourself do you wanna highlight? What are the types of audiences you wanna connect with? And lastly, what do you hope to do for the industry as a whole? Now, not every single brand goes through the brand discovery process and uses brand guidelines, though a lot of companies sometimes use these as well. But regardless of how they proceed with the brand discovery stage, it's a necessary part of building a brand that ensures everything has been laid out before you even go any further into developing your communications or future strategies. Once you go through this stage of the brand building process, you'll be able to make decisions easier. One crucial stage in the process that athletes will have to worry about is the development of their athlete's identity. In order to shorten the amount of time and resources spent on sketches and visuals and marketing directions, you need a set of principles to guide you on how your brand should look, feel, and operate. This kind of thing matters, especially to those athletes working on a limited amount of time due to training and games, etc. You'd want to have a concrete set of principles to follow so that you can avoid spending too much time outside the game. T. If there's anything that you can take away from sponsor champions is that brand building is not easy but for a good reason. When you build a brand on solid foundations, you'll have a higher chance of developing strong relationships with your sports fans and sponsors. And a loyal following is a key to truly succeeding regardless of the industry that you're in. The more corners you cut, the weaker your brand becomes. So instead of taking the easy way out, don't be afraid to take your time in developing the foundation first and foremost for your brand. And don't be scared of the brand discovery phase. If you wanna learn more about the benefits of going through the said phase, make sure to check out the rest of our videos on brand discovery. 
We hope you guys loved today's video. And if you want to learn more about the great solutions that can truly change the game, again, don't forget to tackle that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps out the channel. Now this is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport.